Give me one noun from this last sentence. Mouse. Mouse. Very good. Alexis, another another noun. Sneaker. Sneaker. There's one more noun. Uh, tiny. No, Not tiny. tiny. Whole. Whole. Very yeah. good. Now, what are the actions? The action is ch chewed. Good. Chew. What? Who did the action? Tiny mouse. So the mouse is the subject. Yeah. What did chewed. the what? Okay, it chewed yeah. to what? Did the action to the sneaker? Mm. It also chewed a hole. Yeah. So this mouse was very busy because it chewed a hole in the sneaker. Yeah. All right, guys. So real quick, I don't, and I want to emphasize this. I do not want you guys to write down anything right away. I'm just going to put this on here. I know normally I have you, I write stuff up here and I want you to write it down. I don't want you to write it yet. Okay. Where this is just reviewing. So the format of the freight tax pyramid, we have the exposition where we expose the character and what the actions are, I'm sorry, mm. the character and what they're doing. Remember this? Okay. Then we have rising Actually, action. We did this I, I know, that's why we were doing it really quick. So rising climax. action, these are the events that they, that they do. Climax. Fall in action. Climax. Climax is the point where they're in the biggest trouble but they start to they turn around. around. Yeah. And falling action. Falling action. Uh, falling action. <laughs> These are the events that start to <laughs> resolve. Yeah, I know I write dumb ugly. <laughs> and then we do you guys remember this word? What? Remember this this word? The last the last Remember it? Denominator? What? Denouement. Oh, yeah. Remember that? It's, it's a fun, funny French word. Yeah. Denouement. Yeah. Say it. Denouement. De Very good. Can you say it? Denouement. Not, not quite as good as Alexis, but it's pretty damn good. All right. Denouement. So, like I say, I didn't want you to write that down. Just a quick review. Now, we're going to watch a short video, a short cartoon. And I'm going to describe all, all, the, all the actions. Again, I do not want you to write, I'm here. I do not want you to write um, the actions of, of here, okay, that I'm going to write. I want this to be left blank for you guys to write the next one, okay? So we have Heckle and Jekyll. Cartoon. So now again, don't write this. I'm just gonna write this real quick. I want you to leave this space for you guys to do your do your um, free tag pyramid on the next one, okay? So Heckle and Jekyll finding King Tut's gold. Okay? That's the expedition. They're, they're searching for his gold. They're trying to get it. Um, Sphinx tells on them, then others warn them, then we have um, them being haunted, and chased. Climax 
termites chase them and they escape from tuts tomb. That's the climax. Falling action is get on their flying carpet. Termites eat their carpet and feathers. Somehow, and I, I like your reaction, what? They can't do that. Somehow, how, without feathers, they fly away. Okay? What do we learn from this? What we learn from this whole experience is don't mess with King Tut's tomb. Okay? I didn't write it for, for no reason. I wrote it for you guys to see how we fill it out. Because now, I want you guys to, to write it um, as we go over this. While we're watching this, I'm going to be pointing out, just like I did with the Heckle and Jekyll cartoon, this is exposition, this is rising action, climax and whatnot, but we want to document it afterwards, okay? <laughs> Exposition. Who are the characters, and what did they? What were they doing? Okay, Daffy Duck. We're just gonna abbreviate that as DD. I want you guys to get, to write these, write this down, okay? DD. And what does he do? He is an American, but he. But at the very beginning, we, we see that he runs a scrapyard. Who else is in the exposition? The goat, good. Goat, and what does the goat do? He eats the scraps. Jose, can you give me one, one of the events in the rising action? I'll actually use a different color. What was one of the first things that Daffy Duck does when he's interacting with the goat? Oh, he gets in the, the water. Yeah. Well, yeah, he, he, helps, he helps him out because he doesn't know that he's a Nazi. Helps goat with his hiccups. Then, then he realizes he's a Nazi. What happens next? They start fighting. And Jose, who wins this fight between between the the goat and the duck at the very beginning? Hmm? Who's winning the fight between the goat and Daffy Duck? The goat. Yeah. Goat hits Daffy Duck with. Mallet while 
they are fighting. So the climax, Daffy Duck, is about to give up. But what happens instead? Yeah, he's, he sees his ancestors. But he sees his ancestors. And what do they tell him to do? Very good. They tell him to not give up. So now we have the falling action. What is the first thing that happens when he decides to not give up? Yeah. Turns into super hero. He, he chases the goat. Chases goat back to sub submarine. What else? I think you guys run down. It's fine. What else? What else? He turned breaking up the submarine. Yeah, he busts up the submarine. And we'll we'll just we'll leave it at that because there were several several things that he did while busting up the submarine, but we'll just leave it as bust up submarine. I'm good with that. Um, what is a denouement? What is the lesson that we can learn from this? Okay, to not be a Nazi, but not to mess with goats. Not not mess with goats. But what about what did what does what does Daffy Duck learn in his climate in the climax? Yeah. Don't give up. Awesome guys. So I'm going to show you another video, a shorter video this time. Um, this is going to be a um, Speedy Gonzalez cartoon. And this time, you can flip your paper over. And on your paper, there is another Freytag's Pyramid. And I want you guys to, while you're watching the cartoon, begin filling it out. Because I want you guys to do it on your own this time, okay?